Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and also Ranking Member, and thank you, Ambassador, for being here. Uh, we had an Ag Roundtable down in our district area in Martin County, and one of the uh, major complaints came from a gentleman who has Ye Farms down there about the flooding of tomatoes coming in and uh, how it's affecting our market uh, out of Mexico. So the big question I'm sure that the farmers down in uh, South Florida would like to know, what are the specific things that we're putting in place to uh, to help them as far as the, you know, the tariffs and the non-tariffs and you know the NAFTA and also the CAFTA, how we can open up uh, China and other Asian markets for our agricultural products so that they aren't penalized? Uh, thank you for that important question. Uh, we had a terrific year uh, in 2011 in terms of our ag exports. We are fully committed to doing everything that we can to help farmers across the country compete in every, every single global marketplace. Uh, with our free trade partners, we do that by lowering tariffs and also reducing the non-tariff barriers uh, behind the border that you can't always see at first. Um, but as, as you may well know, our ability to fight what we call SPS, sanitary and phytosanitary restrictions that are not justified by science or by risk assessments are a really important part of what we do every single day at USTR. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. 